find the Z parameters of the below given two port network and the given two port network is the combination of two two port networks and the first two port network is a T network and uh, let's say it is network NA and the second two port network is a pi network and let's say it is network NB and uh, we are required to find the Z parameters of this combination of NA and NB. So we are having one larger two port network and uh, let's say the input voltage to the larger two port network is V1 and uh, this means if V1 is the potential at this terminal then this terminal will have the potential of 0 volt and uh, let us say that voltage V2 is the voltage at the output port of the larger network and if this terminal is having the potential V2 then this terminal will have the potential 0 and uh, when you observe carefully you will find this point and this point will have the potential V1 this point and this point will have the potential 0 and therefore the voltage at the input port of T network is equal to V1 and the voltage at the input port of the pi network is also equal to V1 and therefore we can say that the input ports of the two networks are in parallel. Now following the same process when you try to find out the type of connection we are having between the output terminals of the two networks you will find we have parallel connection and therefore we have parallel parallel interconnection of two two port networks and we know the fact that the Y parameters matrix of the larger network is equal to the Y parameters matrix of network NA plus the Y parameters matrix of network NB in case of parallel parallel interconnection and therefore we will shift our focus on the calculation of matrix YA and matrix YB and then we will add them to have matrix Y and finally we will perform the conversion to have the Z parameters matrix of the overall network which is our main task. So let us first find out matrix YA and uh, we know we can have the Z parameters matrix of the T network directly. I have explained the shortcut to write down the Z parameters matrix of the T network having the impedances and uh, the first element will be 2 plus 1 that is 3 ohms and this is parameter Z11A parameter Z12A will be equal to 1 ohm parameter Z21A will also be equal to 1 ohm and parameter Z22A will be equal to 1 plus 1 that is 2 ohms now in order to have the Y parameters matrix of network NA we will take the inverse of matrix ZA. So Y parameters matrix of network NA is equal to the inverse of Z parameters matrix of network NA and I have already explained the process to find out the inverse of a matrix and therefore this time I will write down the result directly. Parameter Y11A which is the first element of our matrix is equal to 2 over 5. Y12A is equal to minus 1 over 5. Y21A is also equal to minus 1 over 5 and the fourth parameter Y22A is equal to 3 over 5. Now let us find out the Y parameters matrix of network NB and we know how we can have the Y parameters matrix of a pi network directly 
and to have the y parameters directly we will first try to write down the admittance values of these three elements this element will offer the admittance of one more this element will offer the admittance of one over two more and this element will offer the admittance of two more and parameter y11b is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 more that is 3 by 2 more and parameter y12b is equal to minus 1 by 2 more minus 1 by 2 more parameter y21b will also be equal to minus 1 by 2 more and the fourth parameter y22b is equal to 1 by 2 plus 2 more that is 5 by 2 more now the next step is to perform the addition of these two matrices and it will give us matrix y and we know how to perform the addition of two matrices therefore i will write down the elements directly matrix y will have the elements 19 over 10 minus 7 over 10 minus 7 over 10 and 31 over 10 now from here we can have the z parameters matrix it will be equal to the inverse of y parameters matrix when you find out the inverse you will have the z parameters matrix as 31 divided by 54 7 divided by 54 7 divided by 54 and 19 divided by 54 so this is the answer of this question and now we will move on to the homework problem which i have taken from gate 2014 ec paper and in this question you are required to find parameter h22 in siemens so try to solve the question and once you have your answer post it in comment section